Dennis Gobo is my name. I work as the coordinator uh, for the District Farmers Association of Maracha. Uh, this association started in 2011 uh, when the farmers in the district came together to conduct elections uh, to elect their leaders. Farmers conducted elections from uh, Paris level and then to sub-county level and then to the district level. After electing the executive at the district level, uh, the farmers decided to set a secretariat and ask the government to give them an office. Uh, the government was not having any ready building uh, as an office for the Farmers Association. However, the government, the district went ahead and allocated a structure which they took back shortly. After which they allocated a wall uh, for the Farmers Association and said if we can roof it as an office, it is okay. Uh, the Farmers Association had no source of income apart from uh, members contributing uh, membership fees and subscription fees. And this was too small that it can't uh, build an office for the farmers. So the Farmers Association started going into business opportunities. Uh, we started looking at the opportunity of vaccinating uh, chicken for our members. Uh, the Farmers Association used the small money from membership to buy vaccine at 100 shillings per bird from uh, vaccination of chicken. This was going on well. The challenge was the Farmers Association did not have fridge for storing the vaccines. So that was the challenge with that business. However, the Farmers Association went ahead and got into partnership with exporters of African body chili, where uh, the staff of the Farmers Association went ahead to mobilize farmers to grow chili. When the chili was ready, they, they started buying and delivering to the exporters at a commission. That same year, the Farmers Association made over 140 million. Uh, and that year, over 600 million went to its members' uh, pockets. Uh, from there, this profit that was made that year was used for acquiring land for the Farmers Association. Uh, this was used for acquiring motorcycles, uh, which are still there up to now, which the staff are still using. Uh, a lot of assets were put, office furniture were acquired, computers were acquired. After that, the price of chili also went down. That was a challenge uh, with that business. Then from there, the Farmers Association continued to produce tree seedlings for sale. However, this production of tree seedlings had started as an idea to support environment. The first seedlings were given free to the farmers, but the Farmers Association realized that this is not sustainable. They should sell it. So from there, the Farmers Association continued to produce three seedlings for sale uh, to the members. This has gone for over eight years now. Uh, it has been sustaining the office a lot. In 2017, uh, we also implemented some project with the ISSD, uh, where uh, the, the, the Farmers Association was coordinating farmer groups to produce seeds. Uh, this was a project that was in total 68 million that year. That was the first project uh, that the Farmers Association implemented with the donors. The Farmers Association also opened an agro input shop at the Maracha Town Council. It provides quality agro inputs to the farmers at an affordable price. From 2020, the Farmers Association got a project with the FAO. This was an environment related project but supporting women's livelihood activities. And in that, uh, the Farmers Association also used its network with the groups to start a, a kind of microfinance to support the farmer groups in their farming activities. You want to acquire seeds, you come to the Farmers Association, you want to open land, you first uh, come and borrow some money and continue paying back. So it's actually already helping the farmer groups, but at the same time, it is sustaining the Farmers Association because you pick the money at an interest. We also initiated the local chicken project using a local, a simple hatchery uh, that uses just battery when there's no power. We have hatched eggs twice. 
where we're breeding stock for local chicken. Uh, they receive treatment, they are vaccinated. We also acquired uh, funds from agriculture cluster. From agriculture cluster, we have managed to put a grinding mill, we have managed to put a, an office space with a showroom. However, our plan is to make this place a food purchasing centre in the district. Uh, food will be moved from members within the district. At the same time, food will be moved from other districts to this destination, to our place, where people can acquire it at an affordable price and when the quality is already checked. We intend to put the machines that we have acquired from agriculture cluster in full use. We plan to have a farmer's guest house in the, in the district that will serve. We want to make it at a standard that will host people of a certain class. Uh, for such a system to grow, one, integrity is very important. Honesty and the trust are very important. And then we have a board that listens to technical people. Uh, in such a system, uh, technical people always have a way forward. But if you have a board that is not supporting it, then however technical you are, the system uh, cannot grow.